Welcome to numerologist.com. Okay, it's time to pick a number. The two numbers that came in today are 26 and 39. Your job is to take a nice deep breath and pick one of those numbers and then pop it in the comments below and come back and listen to the special message that is uh, just for you here today. So God, your spiritual team, the angels are trying to communicate with you through numbers. They're trying to guide you on your spiritual path on this beautiful journey of life. So if you picked 26, it's all about surrender. How would things change in your life if you could just let go, <laughs> right? Just believe that it is already happening, that everything is always working out for me. Your career, your finances, your romance. So when you have that beautiful vision, when you can create that mental movie in your mind that it is happening right now, it raises your vibration and magnetizes that energy to you. Surrender, surrendering into the uh, beautiful manifestation that you're trying to create. Because when you have a, an attachment to things wanting to be a certain way, or when you get upset when things aren't the way that you desire, it can tend to push away what you're trying to manifest. It can uh, create blocks for you. So it's, it's important to get in the flow, right? And a big part of getting in the flow is surrendering. So surrendering the outcome, you know, certainly you set it up, you uh, focus on what it is that you want to bring in, whether it's a new relationship or deepening the relationship you're already in or changing careers, or maybe it's abundance. So set that intention, focus on what it is that you desire, create the mental movie, but don't forget to surrender because when we surrender to the outcome, uh, letting go of attachments, it allows the universe, it allows God to bring us something even bigger and better than what we could have imagined. And don't discount all of those times where you thought that you really wanted this. Oh my gosh, I have to have that. Otherwise I'm going to die. And you didn't get it. And it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. So part of surrendering is trusting that there's a divine plan. The universe knows exactly what you need when you need it, and they will bring it to you. Your only job is to get into alignment with the vibrational frequency that you're trying to manifest and surrendering uh, that outcome, that attachment. So when we're getting into the flow, one of the things that you can do to really help you, help that is gratitude, is appreciation, and it's loving yourself. So when you're constantly beating up on yourself, oh, I'm never going to get this. Oh, I don't deserve this. It closes your heart to receiving. And again, creates another block for the universe to bring that into your life. So loving and appreciating yourself and all of the gifts that you have to bring to the table is important in staying in the flow with what it is that you desire. And don't forget your circle of influence, because sometimes when we try to control the outcome too much, again, we can interfere with the process. So there's your business, my business, and God's business. When you're in God's business or um, my business, you're powerless. When you stay in your own business, you're powerful. And staying in your own business is about loving and appreciating yourself and what you can affect. And that's the place of mindset. You can affect your mindset uh, and you can affect your attitude. Yes. Okay. So if we take a closer look at the numbers that are supporting you today, we've got two, which is everything's going to be okay, and the energy of cooperation. And then we've got six, which is harmony and balance. And when we add two plus six, we get eight. And we all know eight is all about 
abundance and manifestation. So you have all the tools that tools that you need to get you to where you want to go. The last step is to stop trying to control everything and surrender. Ooh, beautiful. I love that energy. Now, uh, in terms of love, it is bringing up peace and stability into your relationship, into your life. So even if you're single, when again, it's all about aligning with the energy, aligning with what it is that you desire and to stop beating yourself up, stop criticizing you yourself and creating stories in your mind that are preventing the beautiful life that you're trying to create. So there's peace and stability coming into your romantic life and um, being amicable with partnerships and relationships and really employing all of your coping skills when things are getting uh, difficult or there's a struggle in that connection. All right, here's your beautiful affirmation. I want you to pop it in the comments below. It adds an extra power for all of us. Miracles happen when I surrender. Miracles happen when I surrender. I can feel that energy for you already. Okay, now if you haven't joined our family, we'd love to invite you to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified as soon as this forecast goes live. And uh, be sure to hit the like comment. We love to engage with you in that comment section, and we really appreciate your support. Also, we have a 21-day manifesting challenge coming up. The first three days are free, so we hope that you'll uh, jump in and join us because it's so much fun. We host this annually live every year on Zoom. You can find more information on our website over at heavensenthealing.us. All right. Now, if you picked 39, the message for you is do not delay. Snap, snap, get going. What are you waiting for? It's kind of a kick in the butt. Um, what have you been putting off? Uh, this is about really kicking out any procrastination that you have really propelling you to move forward and take action and do not delay. You are receiving a clarion call. You have a special mission in this life and it is time to take action. It is time to step it up. No more dragging your feet and um, wondering, doubting, worrying uh, that all of that energy has moved out. It is like crystal clear. You are being divinely guided in what action that you need to take. Now it's overcoming your fear and just doing it, just taking that action. Do not delay, take action. Now there's also a move um, toward he, there's a love toward humankind. You have a passion to help people. You have a passion for change, to affect change. And even though you're only one person, you have the ability to do that because you have a very generous and kind-hearted nature that really attracts people to you. Uh, you know, you're the type of person that people open their checkbook up and say, how much do you need? <laughs> so you'd be great at, on uh, working in a charity or for some kind of a service or organization that relies on donations and goodwill of other people. Uh, you're a beautiful leader. You're excellent at organizing. And I, I get that sense that your skills are being lost in the job that you're in right now, or they're being taken advantage of. So, you know, your best to step out of that, uh, that feeling of suffocation, if you will, and create, create your own 
mission, create your own beauty. Because once you let go of the fear, there's a really big energy of fear that's blocking you. Uh, and and trust, you know, you're a spiritual being, being guided by God, being guided by a higher force outside of yourself. And when you can trust and believe in that, there is just this unleashing of exciting opportunities. Spirit will bring you the people that you need to help you take your dreams, take this beautiful mission that you're on and make it real, make it real. You're very, very optimistic. And your optimism is part of, is actually one of your superpowers. Uh, because when everybody around you, or around you is saying, oh, it can't be done, you're crazy, don't bother, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your money, you're the one that sees the bigger picture. You're the one that actually can really envision the totality of what you're trying to create. And it's that vision that fuels you. So even though the people around you can't see what you see, it's all right. Uh, don't give up. Don't give in to that negative energy. Stay optimistic. It's okay. You know, I'm, I'm a dreamer. <laughs> I'm an optimist. And I, I get, um, yeah, uh, it, you know, the Debbie Downers, if you will, um, who it's hard not to get sucked into that with them. <laughs> But find the dreamers, find your tribe uh, that will support you in seeing this dream become a reality, because there are people out there that are like you, and that can help you and they see what you see. All right, so beautiful, such a beautiful uh, energy. Now, when we look at our numbers, we've got three, which is the ascended masters, the ascended masters are trying to help you take your service to the next level. And then we have nine, which is, you know, these two numbers combined are so powerful. It's serving and it's all about ending. So wrap up where you're at because you have a bigger mission to step into. And then nine plus three equals 12 and one plus two equals three. So we have double the energy of three, double the ascended masters that are coming in to make sure this happens. Because you were born for this day. You were born for this time in humanity. And you're really being invited to step into that and help. All right. So now in terms of love, this energy is about not delaying, taking action. So if there's somebody you want to reach out to or a connection you want to make, just do it. Stop overthinking and put it into place, put that action into place. Now, if you're currently in a relationship, again, there's an urgency here. There's an insistency here of stop putting it off. It's okay to ask for what you need, and it's okay to take that guided action and be bold in your communication and your conversations. All right. Um, okay. So here's your affirmation for today. I move forward with confidence, knowing that all is well in my future. I move forward with confidence, knowing that all is well in my future. All right, be sure to pop that in the comments below. Again, it has power for all of us here in this beautiful thread, in this beautiful community. Now, don't forget to uh, pop on over to our website and listen to our free meditation this month. We have Becoming the Light, which is a super awesome. One of my favorite ones really, really takes you deep, uh, deep into that spiritual uh, portal, if you will. All right. Uh, you can find that over at heavensenthealing.us. Okay, everyone, make it a beautiful and blessed day. Mm -hmm.